Greetings Metal Community, it's uh, Roger back with another collection update, obviously. Um, yeah, kind of in the vein of death metal, evil. Uh, there is a one speed thrash album as well, but uh, this is the new Adorior. Uh, bleed, bleed on my teeth. Not tits, but bleed on my teeth. As in, like this. Sorry about my bad pronunciation of that. Fucking awesome cover and um, artwork in general. This is actually a very long-lasting uh, UK band. Um, formed in 94, uh, actually, uh, but this is only the third full length. Uh, not been active like splits and EPs or not much of that either. So, uh, kind of quite quiet band. Uh, I love their album from 2005, author of Incest. I have shown that several times the last year actually and was very much looking forward to getting this album uh, and it's fucking great uh, it's still not as good as author of incest it's not as kind of wild but uh, this is just an evil death metal some blackened feeling to it and uh, a lot of riffs and a lot of uh, like yeah, they, they kind of just uh, have these uh, more insane solos, leads, that kind of remind you a little bit of, you know, Old Slayer, when kind of you, you're you dragging the strings and uh, all that. Uh, vocally, uh, you know, Miss Grey is, has a fantastic voice. She's not as brutal as she was back in the days, but uh, she has added kind of some more kind of howling screams to her vocals that fits very well it's just yeah very good vocalist and um, fits the music perfectly there's a couple of guys from Grey Miasma playing in this band but it's only the vocalist uh, Miss Grey that's the um, uh, only person left from 94 and um, there's also the I don't remember if it was the drummer or something that was on the uh, previous album uh, but just two members left from the previous album, but uh, still sounds like Adorior. And if you haven't checked out this band, go and do, do so. This is, if you want some really evil black and death metal uh, with a lot of kind of chaos in it, but it's it, it's not like chaos that is like so uncontrolled and stuff. It's just controlled chaos, in my opinion. And as I said, you know, one of the best covers uh, this year. So yeah, Adorior, um, go and give it a listen, I highly recommend you to do so, uh, killer album, of course it's on black vinyl, but it's spinning right now, so I can show it to you, uh, out on um, Dark Descent, that could be a nice uh, thing to know where to get it, but I will link uh, up the Bandcamp site for you, so you can go and uh, give it a listen, if you want to. I'm just giving you the chance. Uh, another, a lot of these are the 2024 albums, so um, it's kind of nice to just show new stuff. Uh, yeah, Deathless Void, uh, the Voluptuous uh, Fire of Sin, uh, kind of what that sticker says. Um, German band plays. Uh, Black and Death Metal again, uh, Evil. Uh, they did release a EP uh, or demo back in oh, was that 21 or something. Uh, those two songs are on, um, or two of those songs are on this album as well. So um, yeah, kind of familiar with some of it. Uh, they are more kind of pure black in their riffing style, but it's pretty heavy. Uh, vocally, it's somewhere in between uh, more more towards death metal I would say but it but it e evil evil sounding um, I think it's a two-piece uh, but um, yeah it's a two-piece three-piece well it's actually four members there sorry about that but yeah maybe there were a two-piece on the demo I don't remember but um, yeah pretty like it's a cool cover, but um, it's uh, kind of hard to show the details, but uh, it looks very good uh, on the uh, 
on the cover here, I can check out the vinyl all the past these uh, center labels that are awesome. And yeah, as I said, really good album. Um, and and a lot of these that I'm going to show today are, are of kind of the more evil sounding death metal. Um, just uh, in that stuff that I'm have been getting in now. Um, so yeah, another really good album. Potentially top 10, yes, I don't know if it's good enough, but uh, I don't know if that has to do with the two songs that kind of are, are not new, but uh, yeah, a really good album, and um, as I said, if you like Evil, kind of, yeah, I don't know where to put them like, but uh, maybe like more towards Grave Miasma in a way. Kind of a little bit same with this next one. This next three albums are from Chilean bands. And this is the new um, and also an album that I've been looking forward to get uh, Invocation. Um, yeah, the title is uh, The Archaic uh, Sanctuary uh, Ritual Body Postures or something like that. Again, you know, pretty typical uh, blackened death metal cover uh, compared to uh, Deathless Void this is a little bit slower not so fast in their uh, riffing and it's more kind of more evil death metal um, this is more on the death metal side than uh, you know Deathless Void but it's kind of in the same vein a really good album again the, the opening track here is just uh, fucking killer that is my favorite track uh, this far. I played this probably 10 times and uh, it's a very good album. So um, again, if you like evil, evil sounding death metal, you should pick it up. This is out on Iron Boundhead. So you get a pretty cool poster as well. booklet is also uh, very cool and uh, pretty thick I don't know how much I want to show you about it but it's it's kind of in this vein um, there is the three guys that are in the band but yeah um, it's just very well done and I don't know if you're familiar with, with this band but um, I think this is their debut full length, but they do have uh, some, a couple of EPs and s s stuff like that. So um, yeah, really good band and uh, glad they're finally out with a great album as, as well. But you know, as I said, the yeah, the, the first track here is just fucking excellent um, track, and uh, but the whole album is uh, pure uh, quality. And, as I said many times, and I will probably say it many times more, you know, the Chilean scene just continues to impress with me with excellent bands, uh, you know, keep coming, always something cool coming from Chile, and uh, another excellent album. Um, in the evil, as I said, this is probably more Grave Miasma than Deathless Void, to be honest. But uh, not as, uh, I don't know, it's not as fast as uh, as those bands, but uh, still, it's, I mean, with fast, I mean blasting and just up-tempo. Uh, this one is from 2021. This is uh, in, in Famous or in Famous Ofs, you know, where they have the V instead of the U to be more evil. And they are, of course, evil. Um, again, this is pure evil death metal. Uh, there's no black and stuff here. This is just quality, kind of aggressive evil death metal. Um, could maybe kind of compare them a little bit more towards uh, the older D side, uh, in the in the vein of of that kind of feeling you get. Listen to it. Uh, this album was uh, out on. Um, Empyrean Collapse and uh, Crypts of Eternity. Down there, maybe. 
yeah whatever also a poster with the cover or cover the logo and the um, emblem stuff yeah just I, I mean I really like this album uh, uh, I did listen to it when it came out but I, I don't know why I didn't pick it up maybe because I was waiting for a vinyl edition I think it was initially just CD I do think it was um, Maybe it was when, yeah, it's 23. Sorry, I lied to you guys. Um, but yeah, killer album. Um, again, with evil, evil death metal. And this, you can get it out of that plastic bag to show you. It's just very uh, kind of. Subtle uh, center labels there, so um, Chilean quality once again. I have to redo that shit, but yeah, infamous with um, stench of the unholy graves. Title it says it all, really. Uh, yeah, last one for Chile. It's um, speed thrash, a little bit blackened. Um, this is the first full length. Uh, Mayhemic with Toba. Uh, you've probably seen Alan over at Heavy Metallurgy did a, a um, review on this album. They released a, a excellent EP back in 19 that was just fucking speed metal, thrash metal. Uh, this is in a vein of early creator, you know, Endless Pain uh, era creator. Um, if you like that stuff, you should go and check it out. If not, yeah, this will, won't be for you. Toba is kind of a super volcano. That's probably why. So this is kind of a... I have read it because, you know, it's... Um, kind of a... What you call it? Um, a theme in this um, album. And just booklets with the guys playing in it. Oh well, yeah, just a um, absolutely a killer. Uh, you're well done. It sounds very old school and uh, with good production. Uh, so yeah, as I said, if you like early creators, go and check them out. They are really good and have kind of a. I like this kind of simple. Could probably have had the proper logo on there, but um, it looks a little bit old. Even save the hype sticker. Pitch Black and Bestial Thrash from Chile. Uh, yeah. Bewitching performance level and all that good shit, you know, uh, labels put on to sell their albums. I don't know why they do it. Um, but yeah. Killer, killer release. Um, last one is an old classic that, uh, you know, it was reissued on vinyl back in 2015, but that was double vinyl and I didn't want this album on the, the vinyl it's uh, immense intense suspense uh, with philobotomized from um, the Netherlands kind of a death slash death doom band um, they do have death doom uh, you know several long death doom parts they do have violins and uh, I think cello as well don't remember if, uh, that but uh yeah they, they they have that kind of you know my dying bride feeling to them but they are way more brutal and they play way more you know death metal and instead of like my dying bride being more doom metal but uh just a absolutely fantastic album um this is a classic in my opinion came out in 94 i think it was it was at least recorded in 1994 uh, you can say what you want with the, about the cover. It's not fantastic, but um, it's a fantastic album. The the opening track is just an, uh, like an epic uh, death doom song with you know the violins and all that good shit. 
heavy, but also they blast away and are brutal. The death vocals here are awesome. Killer death growls. Um, do have some clean vocals here, which is okay, but um, that was not his forte. Um, it, it's just, yeah. If you are into death metal, slow death metal, or death metal in general, Death Doom, and have not heard this, um, for me it's a masterpiece. Uh, I do have the original CD and have loved it ever since it was released, and um, very happy to get it on vinyl. And the vinyl sounds very good, so um, and don't hesitate to pick it up if you have not and have this on your want list. It's out on Hammerheart, so there should be. Uh, I don't know if it's no there's not kind of any limitation but there you go um, yeah that was what I had for this video took me long enough to talk about seven albums but um, yeah go and check out Adorio and all this stuff links will be below as always and uh, yeah next up is a couple of streams I'm gonna do a stream tonight this is Friday uh, something don't remember the date because I don't care uh, with the Heavy Metallurgy together with uh, Marty and Alan talking about uh, kind of ghostly themed music or uh, yeah ghosts are the um, the uh, keyword uh, for the stream so we, we'll see what's happening I picked up my shit so it's exciting to see what they are picking up and on Sunday uh, if everything goes to plan there will be a stream with uh, on uh, Cavernous Carnage, um, his channel, uh, Dave's channel, together with uh, Altar of Madness or Matt, uh, we are going to talk about um, you know great bands uh, or great albums by bands that everybody talks about this and this album, but we're gonna pick out some other stuff. Um, yeah, uh, from those bands that we think should be talked more about. If I have understood the tax task, but it will fun, be fun anyway. See you in the chats on the streams, and um, yeah, I do still have a death metal update to shoot as well. So um, until next time, be short.